This week of Daily Trivia is brought to you by the Meta Travelers. What's up, Freckle family? Happy Monday, June 13th. I'm your daily trivia host, Ian Finer, AKA Lord Trivia himself. Freckle Daily Trivia consists of five everyday questions with weekly rotating topics. Each day you play earns you a raffle ticket towards amazing weekly prize raffles, including NFT airdrops, whitelists, toys, collectibles, and more. This week's trivia topic is animation trivia. So I'll be asking you all things related to cartoons and animation. This week's main prize sponsor are the Bad Bears. Check out this video from the Bad Bears. Thank you, Bad Bears, for sponsoring this week of Daily Trivia. The prizes for this week include airdrops from the Bad Bears, whitelists for Bulldog Buddies, Delta Flare, Takume, and giveaways from the Feline Fiends. Also assorted Funko Pop toys, hand-painted animation cells and artwork, and of course, some socks from Stance. I love these socks from Stance. I have a few pairs myself. So let's get it started with question one. What is the name of the main race in the Cars animated series by Pixar? Is it A, the Great Race, B, the Kentucky Derby, C, the Piston Cup, or D, the Indy 500? Well, Doc Hudson coached Lightning McQueen to victory in C, the Piston Cup. Doc Hudson was in fact voiced by the legendary Paul Newman, and this was his last film. Also, the highest grossing of his career. Moving on to the next question, question two, the Powerpuff Girls are in what city? Is it A, Townsville, B, New York City, C, Metropolis, or D, Boston? Well, with a dash of sugar, spice, and everything nice, the Powerpuff Girls protected A, Townsville from villains such as Mojo Jojo, him, and the gang Green Gang. Fun fact, the Powerpuff Girls were originally known as the Whoopass Girls, but this certainly was not family friendly enough for Cartoon Network. Moving on to question three, who are the only characters in The Simpsons with five fingers on each hand? Is it A, Homer and Bart, B, God and Jesus, C, Marge and Homer, or D, Apu and Manjula? Well, the answer is B, God and Jesus were the only characters to have that fifth digit. In fact, a majority of animated cartoon characters only have four fingers. This was a way for studios to save time and money when cartoons were originally created by hand painting individual cells on a massive assembly line. And those types of cells are actually prizes that we are giving away this week. So get excited for those. Next question is question four. Who is the voice of Bugs Bunny in Looney Tunes? Is it A, Mel Blanc, B, Walt Disney, C, Clarence Nash, or D, Danny Webb? Well, not just the voice of Bugs Bunny, but the answer is A, 
Mel Blanc voiced a majority of the characters from Looney Tunes, including Daffy Duck, Elmer Fudd, Marvin the Martian, and more. Basically, every character in the Looney Tunes series was voiced by Mel Blanc. Moving on to the final question of today, and this one's a sizzler. Name the cartoon character that first appeared in the 1919 short film Feline Follies. Is it A, Sylvester the Cat, B, Minnie Mouse, C, Felix the Cat, or D, Garfield? Well, the answer is C, Felix the Cat. Created by Pat Sullivan and Otto Messenger, this cartoon started with humble roots during the silent film era and went on to become one of the most recognizable characters in cartoon history. And with that, that concludes our first day of animation trivia. I've been your host, Ian Finer. Thank you so much for playing. Make sure you jump in our Discord server, discord.gg slash freckle, to be included in our weekly prize raffles. We'll see you again tomorrow for another round of Animation Daily Trivia. Thanks for playing. This week of Daily Trivia is brought to you by the Meta Travelers. What's up, Freckle family? It's Tuesday, June 14th. I'm your daily trivia host, Ian Finer, AKA Lord Trivia himself. Freckle Daily Trivia consists of five everyday questions and weekly rotating topics. Each day you play earns you raffle tickets towards amazing weekly prize draws, including NFT airdrops and whitelists, toys, collectibles, and more. This week's topic, is animation trivia. So I'll be asking you all things related to cartoons and animation. This week's main prize sponsors are the Bad Bears, and prizes from this week are airdrops from the Bad Bears, whitelists for the Bulldogs, Delta Flare, Takume, and giveaways from the Feline Fiends. Also, assorted Funko Pops, hand-painted animation cells, and artwork and socks from Stance. Let's get this party started with question one. This character, who recently entered the public domain, is known for his love of honey and the catchphrase, oh bother. Is it A, Pepe Le Pew, B, The Little Toaster, C, Pinocchio, or D, Winnie the Pooh? Often getting stuck in trees searching for beehives to get his honey, the answer is D, Winnie the Pooh. Pooh Bear, who already now is in the public domain, is being made into a live action feature film. But it's not quite what you would expect. Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey is an independent horror film where Pooh and Piglet go on a killing rampage after being left alone when Christopher Robin leaves for college. And they say Hollywood is running out of ideas. Next question, question two. What do Smurfs eat? Is it A? chanterelles, B, sarsaparilla leaves, C, little insects, or D, marshmallows? Well, those funny little blue guys may wear marshmallow looking hats, but they are most known for eating B, sarsaparilla leaves. The biggest Smurf, fun fact, can only reach a height of three crab apples. Papa Smurf, can you reach the top shelf? Sadly, the answer is no. Hey, boo boo, let's move on to question three. This 1950s cartoon character, Yogi Bear, made his first appearance on what television program? Is it A, The Yogi Bear Show, B, Looney Tunes, C, Huckleberry Hound Show, or D, Quick Draw McGraw? And the answer is C, The Huckleberry Hound Show. 
The blue-skinned southern version of Man's Best Friend was created from the team behind the Rough and Ready show and was known for the many blue-collar occupations he held in each episode. I think Huckleberry Hound was everything from a chef to a police officer, from a nurse to a doctor or a postman. He had every single job under the sun. And now it's your job to answer question four. What is the name of Space Ghost's spaceship? Is it A, the Galactic, B, the Ghost Jet, C, the Phantom Cruiser, or D, Project Light Leap? Well, Space Ghost traveled the galaxy in C, the Phantom Cruiser. He later appeared in the Adult Swim talk show, Space Ghost, Coast to Coast. It's one of my favorite shows growing up. Final question of today's animation trivia, and it's a hard one. What religion are Betty Boop's parents? Is it A, Jewish? Is it B, Catholic? C, Hindu? Or D, Buddhist? Well, the answer is A, Betty Boop is in fact Jewish. Originally appearing as a French poodle in Dizzy Dishes, Boop was reimagined as the long-legged flapper-styled performer and icon of the 1920s. She was once also deemed too sexy for a Christmas special. And that concludes today's round of animation trivia. I've been your host, Ian Finer. Thank you so much for playing. Make sure you jump in our Discord, discord.gg slash freckle, to be included in our weekly prize raffles. We'll see you tomorrow for another round of Daily Trivia. Thank you so much for playing, and see you tomorrow. This week of Daily Trivia is brought to you by the Meta Travelers. What's up, Freckle family? It's Wednesday, June 15th, and I'm your daily trivia host, Ian Finer, AKA Lord Trivia himself. Freckle Daily Trivia consists of five everyday questions and weekly rotating topics. Each day you play earns you a raffle ticket towards amazing weekly prize draws like NFTs, whitelists, toys, collectibles, and more. This week's trivia topic is animation trivia and we'll be asking you all questions relating to cartoons and animation. This week's main sponsor are the Bad Bears. Prizes for this week include NFT airdrops from the Bad Bears, whitelists for the Bulldogs, Delta Flare, and Takume, and giveaways from the Feline Fiends. Also, assorted Funko Pops, hand-painted animation cells and artwork, and socks from Stance. Let's begin with question one. What food helps Popeye get his big, strong muscles? Is it A, kale, B, ribeye steak, C, spinach, or D, bologna sandwiches? Yeah, well, Popeye the Sailor Man is known for opening up a can of whoop ass, but not before he opens up a can of spinach. Popeye's fame rose to new heights during World War II, where he often used racial slurs to boost the morale of US soldiers. Next question, question two. Yako and Dot from the Animaniacs share this last name. Is it A, Wags, B, Warner, C, Mink, or D, Slappy? The answer is B, brother and sister Yako Dot Warner are named after the Warner Brothers Studios that owns the cartoon's intellectual property. They are also seen causing chaos on the Warner Brothers studio lot in the show. Now let's move on to question three. How many Dragon Balls are there? Is it A3, B5, C7, 
or D, 10? The answer is C, lucky number seven. Dragon Ball also created the popular term, Super Saiyan, an advanced transformation used by the Saiyan race, and the strongest Saiyan, of course, is Goku. The next question, question four, and this is a hard one. What is one of the earliest tools used to create animations that involved a spinning wheel on a wooden handle? Is it A, the rotoscope, B, the phenakistoscope, C, the zoopraxiscope, or D, the kinetoscope? Lots of scopes. Well, the answer, and those are all a bit of a mouthful, but is B, the phenakistoscope. You'd probably recognize this version of the device as a carousel with a horse that gallops in a circle when the device is spun. Also known as the Fantastoscope, the Phenakistoscope originated from mid 18th century France. Now please, let's move on so I don't have to say Phenakistoscope another time. Final question, and also a very challenging one. This film is the first and only to have characters from the Walt Disney Studios and Warner Brothers Studios appear together on screen. Is it A, Space Jam, B, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, C, Looney Tunes, Back in Action, or D, The Goofy Movie? Oh, yeah. well, the answer is B, one of my favorite films of all time, who Framed Roger Rabbit used revolutionary animation technology to bring animated characters to live action cinematography. It was also the first ever to merge the IP of Disney and Warner Animation Studios together in the same project. And that concludes today's round of animation trivia. I've been your host, Ian Finer. Thanks so much for playing. Make sure you jump in our Discord, uh, discord.gg slash freckle to be included in our weekly prize raffles. We'll see you again tomorrow for another round of Daily Trivia. Until next time. This week of Daily Trivia is brought to you by the Meta Travelers. What's up, Freckle family? It's Thursday, June 16th, and I'm your daily trivia host, Ian Finer, AKA Lord Trivia himself. Freckle Daily Trivia consists of five everyday questions and weekly rotating topics. Each day you play earns you a raffle ticket towards amazing weekly prize draws, including NFT airdrops, whitelists, collectibles, toys, and more. This week's topic, is animation trivia. So I'll be asking you about all things related to cartoons and animation. Our main prize sponsor for the week are the Bad Bears, and prizes include NFT airdrops for the Bad Bears, whitelists for the Bulldog Buddies, Delta Flare, Takume, and giveaways from the Feline Fiends. Also, as usual, assorted Funko Pop toys, hand-painted animation cells and artwork, and socks from Stance. Let's get this trivia game rolling today with question one. The Academy Award category for best animated feature was introduced in 2001 and was won by what movie? Is it A, Shrek, B, Monsters, Inc., C, Ice Age, or D, Spirited Away? Well, the answer is A, Shrek, voiced by Mike Myers, and his beloved sidekick Donkey was voiced by Eddie Murphy. The voice cast of heavy hitters also included Cameron Diaz as Fiona and John Lithgow as Lord Farquaad. Moving on to question two, what character from Looney Tunes does not speak? Is it A, Wiley Coyote, B, Elmer Fudd, C, Marvin the Martian, 
or D, Foghorn Leghorn. Well, he was often too busy getting bested by the Roadrunner to have any lines. The answer is A, Wiley Coyote. Segments featuring Wiley Coyote versus the Roadrunner had no dialogue other than the Roadrunner's famous meep meep. Coyote, on the other hand, often communicated through written signs to display his emotions, most of which were uh-oh and ouch. Next question, question three. Japanese animator and director Heo Miyazaki did not direct which of the following films? Is it A, My Neighbor Totoro, B, Howl's Moving Castle, C, Princess Mononoke, or D, The Red Turtle? The answer is D, The Red Turtle. Though The Red Turtle was produced by Miyazaki's Ghibli Studios, the director was in fact a Dutch animator by the name of Michael Dudok de Witt. I love all of Miyazaki's films, but this film, The Red Turtle, is also a must see. Question four is an anime question. What popular anime series revolves around the Elric brothers? Is it A, Full Metal Alchemist, B, Dragon Ball Z, C, Naruto, or D, Attack on Titan? Well, the answer is A, Full Metal Alchemist. And moving on to our final question of the day. This one's a hard one. The Vultures from Disney's The Jungle Book are based on what popular classic rock band? Is it A, The Beatles? B, the Rolling Stones, C, the Monkees, or D, Pink Floyd. Well, if you couldn't tell from those haircuts, the answer is A, the Beatles. Originally, the Beatles were supposed to voice the Vultures, but the final cut of the film saw the Vultures transition to a barbershop quartet due to scheduling conflicts with McCartney and John Lennon. Sadly, it was too late to change the Vulture's bad hairdos. And that concludes today's round of Animation Trivia. I've been your host, Ian Finer. Thanks so much for playing. Make sure you jump in our Discord, discord.gg slash freckle, to be included in our weekly prize raffles. We'll see you again tomorrow for another round of Daily Animation Trivia. Thanks for playing. This week of Daily Trivia is brought to you by the Meta Travelers. What's up, Freckle family? It's Friday, TGIF, June 17th, and sadly, it's our final day of animation trivia. As always, I'm your daily trivia host, Ian Finer, AKA Lord Trivia himself. Freckle Daily Trivia consists of five everyday questions and weekly rotating topics. Each day you play earns you a raffle ticket towards amazing weekly prize draws, including NFT whitelists, airdrops, toys, collectibles, and more. This week's topic is animation trivia, so I'll be asking you all things cartoons and animation. This week's main prize sponsor are the Bad Bears, and their prizes are airdrops for the Bad Bears, whitelists for the Bulldog Buddies, Delta Flare, and Takume, and giveaways from the Feline Fiends. Also, assorted Funko Pop toys, hand-painted animation cells and artwork, and socks from Stance. Who's gonna win those socks? First question of the day, what was the first Pixar movie? Is it A, A Bug's Life, B, The Incredibles, C, Toy Story, or D, Finding Nemo? Well, the answer is C, Toy Story. 
And fun fact, the character Woody, voiced by the legendary Tom Hanks, wasn't originally planned to be a cowboy doll. The original Woody was a ventriloquist dummy that early test groups decided was too creepy for the final film. And this trivia host agrees with that decision. Next question, question two. Wallace and Gromit is a display of what animation technique? Is it A, cell shading, B, vector animation, C, 3D animation, or D, claymation? Hailing from Bristol, UK, Wallace and Gromit used D, claymation, to create the award-winning films. Claymation is a form of stop-motion animation and has been seen in animated films such as Chicken Run and Caroline, Coraline. Moving on to question three, what, Disney, what is Disney's first full-length animated film? Is it A, Pinocchio, B, Fantasia, C, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, or D, Bambi? Well, the answer is C, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Based on a rather dark German fairy tale, Snow White used revolutionary animation techniques to create the lifelike movements of the characters. They also used a first-of-its-kind Foley technique for sound that is still used today. And if you don't know what Foley is, look it up. Next question, question four. Star Wars The Clone Wars animated series appeared on what television network originally? Is it A, the Disney Channel, B, Cartoon Network, C, Nickelodeon, or D, ABC? Well, the popular Clone Wars Star Wars series made its debut on B, Cartoon Network. The show was later moved to Netflix and recently finished off its seventh season on Disney+. Plus. And our final question for the week, this film is widely regarded as the first to incorporate animation within live action cinematography. Is it A, Mary Poppins, B, Bedknobs and Broomsticks, C, Pete's Dragon, or D, The Lost World? Well, this was a very difficult question, and while I'm sure most of you thought it was Mary Poppins, the answer is in fact D, The Lost World. All four films featured animation woven into live action, but the first was a silent film from 1925 about dinosaurs that was adapted from an Arthur Conan Doyle novel of the same name. And that concludes our week of animation-themed daily trivia. I've been your host, Ian Finer, and thank you so much for playing. Make sure you jump in our Discord for our weekly prize raffles. And we'll see you after the weekend for another week of daily trivia. Next week's topic is music trivia, so we will see you Monday for music trivia.